on a chill in the do. This year the Queen quit one more again for this year Gullah Geechee TV Nation News. On a chill and see this your face, y'all on CM Punish this your program before and thing like that. This uh, we representative the Rev Zach Lie from Brunswick, Georgia. How honey to do this morning? Honey to do real good. Oh, I'm glad if we get it at me, glad if we get it at. Now, plenty of children to know April 1st, the day that we gone to the UN and thing like that for the first time, but they even know that this year day, another significant day in we story is Gullah Geechee. What's so significant but April the 1st? Today is the day uh, 199 years ago that the Reverend Tunis Campbell was born. Okay, now tell us who exactly is Tunis Campbell? Tunis Campbell is a preacher. Mm -hmm. All right. That was trained as Episcopalian by the Episcopalians mm -hmm. to transport African people back to Africa. Interesting. And what time frame are you talking about? We're talking about the 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 years just before the Civil War um, came into existence, 1850s, in that area. So you're saying that he was a minister that was participating in a lot of the colonization that was going on, a repatriation that was going on in terms of going back to Africa during that era? They, they trained him, and it's probably a little bit earlier, but they trained him to do that. But once he was trained... He, he refused to become a transporter because he took the position that he would stay in this land and see that every African person was in fact freed here. Now, interestingly enough, for those who study Georgia history, they may have come across Tunis Campbell's name, but somewhat fleetingly. Where exactly was Tunis Campbell based, and where did he do this work in terms of helping the Africans be free on this land? Tunis Campbell was um, um, given the position of being the superintendent of Out Islands um, on the Georgia coast. Um, however, he worked out of um, the Freedmen's Bureau at Port Royal, South Carolina, where um, he was given the task of being the superintendent over five islands. Several of them were, um, w was where he set up a headquarters to become his own um, nation so that the Gullah Geechee community would always remember to be self-sufficient self-determined and have self-preservation and on the island of St. Catharines in particular he set up a structure very similar to the United States of America's where he was governor or president if you will and they had a, a Senate House of Representatives a um, Supreme Court and a 272 man stand in army to prevent Buckras from setting foot on St. Catharines. So now it's very interesting that you mentioned St. Catharines, which is in Georgia just before you get to the Florida line, essentially. But now, how many Gullah Geechee's in St. Catharines today? Absolutely none. And why is that the case? Because um, it is a... the displacement of African people from their sacred places in which God has given us has occurred uh, from every conceivable manner that they could do it. Miseducation of our young, driving them to higher points of inter um, so-called intellectual pursuits so that they would be uh, feel disgraced by calling themselves a, a Gullah Geechee, recognizing that their talents could be exploited in um, in um, the corporate worlds, um, academic worlds, but never coming back to the land that God had given us. And corporations and and uh, real estate speculators have put golf courses on them in very nice places in which they could live out their, their fantasies and dreams. Mm -hmm. And so now, what made you decide to start this Tunis Campbell celebration in Brunswick, Georgia? Well, for, for a lot of years, we have noticed 
that our heroes for our young have come from um, European influences um, that have uh, based, been based in fantasy, like Superman, Batman, Robin, Tarzan, um, and all of the kind of fictional heroes that will fade away in obscurity, be in literature, the Hulk, the green man with the, all the muscle, and you see kids um, mimicking those heroes. Well, and, 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 and it is a disgrace that we as Gullah Geechee people have the kind of heroes that we have in our community and we allow them to go uh, down in history as never have, having existed. Mm -hmm. So to bring it, them to the forefront mm -hmm. as our heroes, mm -hmm. I believe will, will, will do a great service mm -hmm. to causing our children and our community to come back to balance, to be uh, respectable, to understand that they are God's children as well as everybody else. And you know, as our national flag of the Gullah Geechee Nation says, we be Gullah Geechee anointed people. That is correct. Yes. And that is why uh, with, your, with your particular influence in my life as a leader, um, it, uh, it is imperative that we serve that particular we be Gullah Geechee anointed people vision or else we will perish. Yes, and where there is no vision, well, the people do perish. Amen. And so we give thanks for vision. We give thanks to you and the folks that we got did it in Brunswick and thing like that who still know who he be and thing like that because you know some will leave it cracking up. Okay, then for them who know who he be and thing like that, we're so glad that Hunter Gwai had us your celebration every year for Tunis Campbell birthday, April the 1st. So Hunter Chillin would have tuned into this year, Gullah Geechee TV Nation News. If Hunter ain't make them this year, yeah, we about to show you a little bit of what been a going on, but Hunter Chillin can plan for the next year for Diddy with we pun the land for get back and plant them seeds one more again and this your anointed soul and thank you thank you Ashe. to you Reverend Lord we gladly thank you <laughs> God bless you children honey no this year the work going on <laughs>